Hello and welcome to AVR Microcontroller video lecture series. In this video, I am going to discuss about LCD interfacing and programming with Atmega32. So these are the outline of the session, 16 cross 2 LCD pin details and 5 cross 7 dot matrix. Then we will see LCD commands. Then we will see LCD interfacing with Atmega32 in 4 bit mode. And finally, we will see LCD programming in C language in 4 bit mode. Now 16 cross 2 LCD pin details and 5 cross 7 dot matrix. Now I, I have already explained this concept in the previous video. So you can go and visit that video first before you start watching this video. Okay. So hopefully if I briefly tell you there are total 16 pins on LCD. First is VSS. So it is called ground pin. Then plus 5 volt supply should be connected to this VDD pin. Then VE should be connected to power supply for adjusting the contrast. Then RS RW enable this will form the control pins of LCD. So it will control the entire operation of LCD. If RS equal to 0 then it will select command register. RS equal to 1 that will select the data register. Then we have RW pin. If it is 0 the LCD is configured in writing mode. If it is 1 LCD is con uh, configured in reading mode. Then we have enable pin. So by sending 0 to 1 on this pin whatever content is there on D0 to D7 whether it is data or command that will be printed inside the internal register right then we have D0 to D7 data bus so either command or data which is 8 bits in size should be sent on this pin then we have LED anode and LED cathode pin okay so we have to connect a positive supply on LED A pin and negative supply to the LED K pin that will give the supply to the backlight if you don't provide the supply on these two pins you cannot see the backlight inside the LCD so this is the 5 cross 7 dot matrix so as I have already explained in the previous video total 5 columns and 7 rows are there so total 32 such 5 cross 7 dot matrix are there which will be useful to print the character now let us uh, discuss uh, quickly the LCD commands which also we have covered in the last video right so first command is 01 so that is used for clearing the display then let us discuss this command AT so it force cursor to the beginning of the first line then C0 is useful for forcing the cursor to the beginning of the second line like that you can refer all these commands. Now let us discuss LCD interfacing with Atmega32 in 4 bit mode so here I have taken Proteus simulation now as you can see VSS pin is connected to ground VDD pin is connected to 5 volt supply I have not connected VE pin with anything but if you actually connect LCD with Atmega32 at that time you have to connect potentiometer on this pin in order to adjust the contrast right otherwise you cannot see anything inside this LCD. Then this RS pin I have taken the label RS, RW and enable and that label I have uh, used over here so this RS is ultimately connected to PD5, RW is connected to PD6 and enable is connected to PD7 port of microcontroller and as we have connected this LCD into 4 bit mode D4 to D7 these 4 data lines have been used right so D4 is connected to PA4, D5 is connected to PA5, PA6 and D7 is connected to PA7 we have not used this D0 to D3 as we have connected LCD into 4 bit mode if you have configured LCD in 8 bit mode then this entire D0 to D7 you have to connect with entire port right so in that case 4 more pins of microcontroller will be utilized okay that you can use for connecting other peripherals right so that's the advantage of using this 4 bit now let us write the program of LCD in 4 bit mode so in this program we are going to display the string hello AVR on LCD right so let us start the program has defined f underscore cpu 16 into 10 raised to 6 unsigned long so here we have defined cpu frequency to be 16 megahertz then we must include avr slash io header file because we are going to use io register like ddra port a that's why we need to include this then has include util slash delay dot h utilization library right because we are going to use inbuilt delay function right then has defined LCD port A. Now I have defined port A with LCD variable right so that in the program no need to remember that I have connected port A with D4 to D7 right. So that's the advantage of using this define right. Then again has defined enable pin number 7, has defined RW pin number 6, has defined RS pin number 5. So once we define this in the beginning of the program what is the advantage so no need to remember pin number while writing the code right okay 
Now one thing I would like to clear here only we have defined pin number 7 with enable variable right we have not defined pd7 right that we, we are going to do while writing the code right okay now we are going to make 5 total functions okay first function is for command that will handle the command related task second is for data third is for lcd initialization fourth is for string related task and fifth is the main function right. So the main function will control all these four functions okay during the execution. So first is lcd command function. So void lcd cmd unsigned character cmd. So whenever I call this function I am going to pass the parameter. Suppose I want to clear the lcd at that time I need to send lcd cmd 01 right. So that 01 is written inside this cmd variable. Now what we need to do inside this. So first of all we need to make rs bit as a 0 right because we are dealing with command so we must tell our lcd that whatever I am sending this is not the data but this is the command right. Now how to do that by writing this statement port d and is equal to negation 1 double less than rs. Now remember in the previous slide we have defined rs with 5 right because we have connected rs pin with pd5 port. Right now let us understand how this works right. So one first of all we start with this because we are going to use this kind of statement again and again in this program. So let us discuss that in detail right. So this one equal to 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 in binary form. Now this one double less than rs that means one double less than 5 because rs already we have defined as a 5. So this one is shifted 5 times to the left. So the new content will be 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 right then we have negation okay so that will complement this entire content so 0 is replaced with 1 and this 1 is replaced with 0 so the new content is 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 finally we are going to end this data with port d by using this abbreviated statement right so what it will do it will clear or it will reset pd5 bit okay without disturbing rest of the bits because all the bits all the remaining bits are one so if you end with one then the data will remain same right okay so only bit 5 of port d will be cleared without disturbing rest of the bit by writing this statement we have made pd5 bit as a zero which we have connected with rs pin of lcd hope you understand this statement as it is very crucial right same way port d and is equal to negation 1 double less than rw because we are going to write only into the lcd so we must make rw equal to 0 and one more thing you can also connect rw pin of lcd with ground right so that it will save your microcontroller pin right so it will reset rw with 0 then lcd is equal to cmd and 0x f0 now remember if you want to send suppose i want to send command 81 right so 81 is a 8 bit code right but we have connected lcd into 4 bit mode right so we need to bifurcate 81 into two parts first we need to send 8 which is the higher 4 bit and then we need to send 1 which is the lower 4 bit of the command right so this cmd whatever we pass over here that will be ended with f0 so the answer is what higher byte for example 81 if you if you end 81 with f0 the answer is 80 now that 80 is sent to lcd which we have already initialized with port a so this 80 will send to this lcd via port a right then we need to enable uh, we need to enable the lcd by sending one millisecond pulse right so first of all we need to send one Okay, by writing this statement port d or is equal to one devil less than enable right. So here it will replace this enable with 7 because already we have defined enable with 7. So 1 is shifted 7 times to the left same way you can consider right. But over here or is there only pd7 is affected and it will be a 1 without disturbing rest of the bit. So we have sent 1 to pd7 bit. Now 1 millisecond delay. We need to insert by writing this inbuilt C li uh, library function underscore delay underscore ms1. Then again port d and is equal to negation 1 double less than enable. So what we have done by writing this, these two statements. We have sent 1 millisecond pulse to enable line of the lcd. Right. 
so 8 is transferred now now it's a time to 1 for example we have taken in this example 81 as a command now it's a time to send 1 because we have connected only 4 bits with lcd right so how to do that so first of we are going to shift this entire content 81 4 bit to the left okay so the content will become 10 right so this one actually will be sent to pa4 to pa7 right okay same way Again, port D or is equal to one double less than enable. We need to write because we need to send one milliseconds pulse on the enable pin. Then and only then this command will be entered into the internal register. So same way underscore delay underscore MS one millisecond delay port D and is equal to negation one double less than enable and ending of this bracket. So if I want to summarize this entire function, what we have done. First of all, we have assumed we are going to send suppose 81, right? So in command function, we have to make this RS equal to zero, RW equal to zero. Then we have to bifurcate 81 into two parts. First of all, we need to send eight. That's why we have done uh, ending operation with F zero, then enable one, enable zero. So that one millisecond pulse will be sent. And finally, eight will be entered inside the uh, command register, right? Again, same LCD is equal to CMD double less than four. So what we have done? 81 is shifted four times to the left so the content will become one zero right again enable one enable zero so that will send one millisecond pulse and that one is transferred again to the uh, lcd command register and finally lcd command register will get 81 as a value so this is the entire format now same way we are going to write lcd data function with minor changes right so here i have taken function name lcd data instead of lcd cmd okay now port d or is equal to one double less than rs now we need to set rs equal to one instead of rs equal to zero in the previous case so in the previous case we have made this statement we have right we have written this statement instead of that now we are going to make rs equal to one because we need to tell lcd that whatever i am sending it is the data not the command right and the data needs to be printed Okay, and command needs to be executed, right? So port D or is equal to one double less than RS. So that will make RS equal to one, okay, without disturbing rest of the bits of port D register. Then port D and is equal to negation one double less than RW. Same statement we need to write over here, RW equal to zero for right. Then LCD equal to data and zero X F zero X F zero. So again, whatever data, suppose you want to transmit ASCII character A. Now, ASCII character A is 41 in hex. Okay, so we need to divide this 41 into two part. First of all, we need to send four, like in the case of command, what we have done, right? And then we need to send one, right? So if you end the data with F0, the answer is, suppose 41 is the data, then answer is 40, right? And that 40 is transferred to LCD, which uh, we have already defined with port A. So this 40 is transferred to port A, right? Then enable equal to one, one milliseconds uh, delay, enable equal to zero. So one millisecond pulse we need to apply again in this case also. Okay. Then and only then upper four bit is written inside LCD data register, right? Same way data is shifted four times to the left so that lower nibble will be shifted to the upper four bits. Same way enable one and one millisecond delay, enable zero and ending of the data function, right? So this is the LCD data function. Now we are going to write LCD initialization function. So first of all, we are going to define port A as an output port by writing DDRA is equal to FF because we have connected D4 to D7 line of LCD with port A. So we must define port A as an output port. Then DDRD is equal to FF because we have connected LCD control pin with this uh, port D. Okay. Now port D and is equal to negation one double less than enable. So initially we need to make sure that enable pin is zero. Okay. That's why we need to write this statement. Otherwise that previous statement, which we have written for sending one millisecond pulse will not work. Right. So we have to make sure that initially enable should be zero. Right. Then LCD CMD 33. So this will call the function from here. LCD command function, pass the parameter 33, execute the command 33 and return back to the next line, right? Same way LCD CMD 32. So again, function will be called 32 will be executed. 
return to the next line lcd cmd 28 okay same procedure will be repeated so here initialization function will call this lcd cmd function three times with different parameter value right so after sending this three value now your lcd is defined in four bit mode right now lcd cmd is equal to 0x 0e now i am going to execute the command which will turn on the display as well as cursor is on so that is the command so 0e is the command for doing the same thing then lcd cmd 01 so that will clear the lcd we are going to insert some random delay of 2 millisecond and ending of this initialization function right now we are going to write the function for handling the string so void lcd underscore print i have taken this name lcd underscore print character pointer str now i am going to use string pointer okay so in this this function will handle the string printing task okay how to do that let us discuss unsigned character i equal to 0 first of all i have taken i as a 8 bit character size and initialize it with 0 while str i is not equal to 0 now what is the meaning of this statement so we need to display the string only when if it is valid means if the string is 0, when the string is finished, at that time it will return the null character, right? Okay, so if it is not the null character, okay, that means it is a valid string, right? And that valid string or particular character we need to display. Now, how to display? By calling the data function because string is a data and we need to call the data function now, right? So, LCD data str i. So, here i equal to 0 initially, so str 0. So, it will take the first character from the string so in this case we have assumed in this case we have assumed hello avr string so h will be displayed on in onto lcd right then i plus plus i is uh, incremented by one again it will check whether it is zero if it is not then it will display the second character third character likewise until the end of the string if the string is ended okay it will return the null character and it will not enter into this loop and it will come out of the, this loop and return from where it was called right so this is string handling function now we are going to write the main function which will handle all the four functions which we have discussed right so first of all we will call lcd initialization function from here so if you write this main function at the last right then also program is started from here remember right okay then lcd underscore print hello avr so here i have taken entire string okay so it will call this print print function which we have just discussed first of all it will send this h then e then l l o space avr okay and finally it will return null character so when it will send null character that lcd print function will come out of the loop and finally it will return to the next line right which is while one now your program is repeated here and it will not come out of this loop then return zero because here we have taken int so return zero finally end of the main function right this is how you can print any string on lcd with the help of four bit programming mode right so hope you understand this lcd programming if you still have any query you can write the comment into the comment box i'll be happy to help you